Well, welcome back! Happy Wednesday hump day! Another rendition of Anna Does Icon or Anna Does Design. Today we are going to be working on these spooky icons. Somebody on Twitter asked me if I could make one of them, so today I am going to. Today we are going to build this cauldron. I'm going to show you how I built that. So let's quickly just jump into it. So first I'm going to start with my key lines. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build the the base of the cauldron or the witch's brew. So I'm going to build a circle. I'm going to press command X. I'm going to set it to two and I am going to set it to black. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press command forward slash and I'm going to actually set my default properties. So then it's always black and two. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a rectangle shift X. Notice how that it is now the default properties. So every time I make a shape, it is going to come up as that two pixel black stroke as I set in those default properties. Now I'm going to shift X to make it a solid fill. As I can see above, this is where I cut it off. I'm going to make sure that this ellipse 74, as you can see in the layers, is under this rectangle 50. And I'm going to go into Boolean and I'm going to subtract. So now we have that perfect cauldron shape. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press P for the pen tool and I'm going to build my cauldron top. So because we're in the pen tool and not the shape tool, I'm going to have to go ahead and set the default property again. So I'm just going to quickly set default properties. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build that, these three lines. This is why key lines are super beneficial because you can see exactly where you built and they're landing perfectly on pixel and on point and angled properly. So I'm going to build that witch's brew stir stick, I guess is what you call it. All I'm gonna do is press P, drag it up to here. I know it's exactly at that pixel. Next thing I'm going to do is do the legs as well. I'm gonna start at this pixel down here. If you can see, these are the points I'm talking about. Go to this point like I did up there, I'm on. Notice I'm on the square key lines same thing for this side so a little trick to do is press command c or you can press command d to duplicate command c command v to copy paste but command d uh, so now i have that vector 96 i'm going to press shift h which is going to flip it on a horizontal axis if you press shift v it'll shift it back on a vertical axis i'm going to press shift v because i just flipped it so now i'm going to drag it to that perfect point again as you can see here, we are landing directly on the points. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make these bubbles that are coming out of the cauldron. So I'm going to press O and I'm going to press shift X. I want it inside. It's a two pixel circle. As you can see, shout out to the key lines. I'm one pixel. This is a pixel right here. This whole thing is one pixel. I am one pixel away. So that's perfect. I'm going to drag this up to make the next one that goes here. Next, I'm going to build the last little bubble, which is about here, here. Perfect. So now we have three bubbles. We have our cauldron stick. The last thing we're going to do is build the magic that's on the cauldron. This is the last part. So I'm going to take a star. And I'm going to press shift X because I want it filled. I'm going to take the count down to four. I'm going to press enter and I'm going to take these four lines or points and I'm going to make the corner radii three. And one thing I do is I hold option to make sure that this is where I want it to fall on the, this is in the center. This is in the seven and seven. And I do believe this is centered on the cauldron. So that's it. That is our cauldron. Last thing you do, take your cauldron and that's it. Super easy. You've just built a perfect little cauldron. Thanks so much for coming. Happy Wednesday.